Greetings, HTX lovers, I welcome you. Today we are going to talk about the trim switches here on the MT12. We have plenty of them, here is the T1, T2, T3, the T4 switch and on the side of the grip is the T5 switch. And today I am going to show you well an alternative setup for these um, trim switches here. And this setup, this configuration is inspired by a YouTube viewer who has asked me how we can set up certain functions with these uh, trim switches here. When we finished with this video today, with the setup, we will have the following configuration. Please let me take a brief look here at my magic list. T1 will be the, will be the control of the max deflection only for the brake side. T2 will be the steering trim. T3 will be the control of the steering dual rate. T4 will be the, will be the setting of the throttle curve, which means the expo only for the throttle side. This is not that easy to do, but we will get to that when we get to the T4 switch. And T5 will be the throttle trim. And by the way, if you do such uh, YouTube videos, always have your magic list with you. And by the way, magic, I think MT12 stands for Magic Transmitter 12. This is cool. No? So, now that you know what's ahead of us, as usual the reminder, please, if you like this content, if you find it helpful, hit the like and the subscribe buttons and support the channel. This will be, would be really cool. And now, without further ado, let's go right into the configuration. Okay, let's get this setup done. Go to the model menu, here to the setup and here change show trims from no to yes. What this does it is, is that it shows us the actual trim value here as a numeric value in this or on this trim line here. And I think that is, that is very helpful, at least for this example here, for this setup. So now back to the inputs. We need a lot of inputs here. And our first configuration will be T1 to control the max deflection only for the brake side. And for this, take the throttle input and edit it and set the side to X greater zero. Then we need another input and I will call this input BRK for brake. This will be the brake side of the throttle channel. BRK, well, BRK. And the source for this is TH, throttle. And we have to set the side to X less than zero. So now we have separated the throttle and the brake part. And now if we check what we have on the monitor, if I pull the trigger, the throttle trigger, then I have full throttle. But if I push the throttle trigger, we have no brake here because we have not used yet this, uh, this second throttle input, if you will, here in the mixer setup. Back in the inputs, another input, I will call this BDR for brake dual rate. This will control the deflection on the brake part of the throttle channel, BDR, brake dual rate, and the source is a trim, a trim, and the trim is ST. ST is T1, the trim TH is T2, and T3, T4, T5 are as the name says. But we need T1 here, or we want to use T1 here, and this is ST. The weight we have to reduce to 50, and the offset we have to set to 50. And this allows us to use the full positive range here of the trim to, well, to control the deflection of the brake. And now we have set every input we need. Now let's go to the mixes and use these inputs. Here go to the channel 2, then short press, one down, then one up, up again and edit the first line and set, set the source to BRK, this is our brake, and exit this. Again short press, one down and edit now the second line and set the source to BDR. And here we have to change the multiplex mode from add to multiply. And why did we set up this, uh, this list as we have here? Because with this multiplied, it, that means that everything above it will be multiplied. So if TH would be above BDR, then the BDR uh, uh, dual rate would affect the throttle part, but we don't want this. We only want that the, the dual rate um, input 
affects the break part. So we have to, to use this, um, this order here of the channel assignments. Now let's get back to the monitor and check what we have. Now I pull the trigger, everything normal here. If I push the trigger, I have only 50% deflection. This is because T1 is right in the middle here. If I use T1 and bring it in this direction, then you see the, the deflection on the brake part is reduced and if, and if I bring the trim in the other direction, then the deflection is increased. Very well, but as you can see, we also change or set the trim for the steering channel with T1 and this is what we are going to change right now. Go to the inputs and here to the steering and we want to use T2 as the, the trim for the steering. Go to trim and set it to TH. TH again is T2. And for the throttle trim we want to use T5. So go to we have to change both the both the inputs that use the, the throttle stick if you will. Go to edit and set the trim to T5. And the same for the brake input T5. <coughs> now let's see on the monitor what we have. Again I push, I pull the trigger, I pull the throttle trigger, max deflection here on the throttle. I push it 50%, I use T1 to control the deflection, only on the brake side of the throttle channel. And we don't set the trim anymore for the steering channel, this is cool. Now let's use T2 to control the trim on the steering channel. Very well. And now I'll use T5. T5 is this trim switch here on the side of the grip. Use T5 to control the trim on the, trot on the throttle channel. And this works of course in both directions. Very well. Now let's go back to the model menu and back to the inputs. We need another input. And now we want to set T3 to control the steering dual rate. So another input and I will call this input SDR for steering dual rate. Steering dual rate. The source for this is again a trim and this time it is the trim T3. And the weight is 50 and the offset is also 50. Again we use the full positive range of the trim. And now we have our SDR input, our steering dual rate input. Now let's go to the mixes and use this input. On the first line on a steering channel 1 assignment, short press 1 down and long press and edit and set the source to SDR, our steering dual rate, and change the multiplex mode from add to multiply. Now let's see what we have. If I do the steering full to the right, full to the left, then you see we have only 50% of deflection, but if I hold the steering wheel full to the right and use T5, oops, sorry, T5 is the wrong, T3 is the right one, T3, then I can modify the deflection of the steering. And this is valid of course for both sides, the positive side, or the right side and the left side. Okay, very well. Now let's bring it up to 100%. Now we have the control over the deflection or over the dual rate for the steering. And now the last part, control, configure T4 to control the throttle curve, the expo only for the throttle, the expo value only for the throttle side. And this is not that easy because we can't set this directly. I'll show you what I mean in a minute. Now we need another input, our last input for today. I will call this TDR for throttle dual rate. 
Throttle Dual Rate and the source is the input, uh, the trim, not the input, the trim T4. Very cool. And that's it here for the input. Now let's go to the input, also uh, to the mixes, and we want to modify or affect the throttle part, only the throttle part here. So edit this line. And what we can set is we, we, we can set the curve to expo. This is what we need. But now what we, well, we now need to modify this value here, but we can't do this directly. We can only set a, a constant value here or we can use G1 or global variables from the driving modes. So G1, well, how do we modify G1? Let's go to the special functions here. And so we want to use a new special function. And for this to work, I'm going to use SC, this simple push button here on the side of the grip. And what I want to do is every time I hit the SC button, I want to adjust the global variable G1 and set it to the current mixer source value of our TDR, our throttle dual rate. And don't forget to activate this line, otherwise it won't do anything. And now let's see what we have. So what this does is with the trim switch T4, with this one here, you can set a specific value. As you can see here, you can set some value, but this does, does not directly put this value or push, push this value to the, well, to the expo value of the throttle curve. So, but now, now if I push, if I pull the trigger, if I pull the tr uh, throttle trigger, then the response is linear. There is no expo response here whatsoever. But now, if I push SC, now the response is not linear anymore. Bring me, let me bring down this value or up this value to the max. And now, if I pull the trigger here at the neutral and hit the SC button, here in the, at the neutral range, there is almost no change if I pull the trigger and to the end the changes get bigger and bigger. And if I bring this T4 trim in to the opposite direction and hit SC, now if I pull the trigger, uh, this, this is very sensitive here in the neutral range, uh, very small changes on the, on the throttle trigger um, leads to big changes here in the channel output and to the end the changes get smaller and smaller. So now we can control, indirectly control, the expo curve of the throttle part. Again I hit SC to write this value into the global variable G1 and the global variable G1 is used to control the expo curve. Now if I pull the trigger here then there is very little changes around this uh, neutral range here and neutral, neutral position <clears throat> and the further I go to the to the max the further or the bigger the changes are. And that's it. Now we have configured T1 to control the max deflection only for the brake side. We have configured T2 for the steering trim, T3 to control the steering dual rate, T4 to set the throttle curve or the expo only for the throttle side, but we do this indirectly. And we have configured T5 to be the throttle trim. That's it. This is the alternative trim switch configuration. Thanks for watching. Thanks for staying with me until the end here. If you find this video helpful, please hit the like and the subscribe buttons. This would be a great support for the channel. And then we will meet here very soon again on this channel. Until then, may the logic be with you.